moderators in the chat. The mo most of my moderators have um have YouTube channels. Make sure you show them some love and everything like that. Um, let me say something real quick. Bullet Scotty, let me talk to Bullet Scotty. You know, you couldn't pay me. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to come on here and talk shit about Bullet Scotty. You know what I mean? Bullet Scotty is 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 someone who I I highly respect on YouTube, and I understand that a lot of y'all not really a lot of y'all don't feel him. That have nothing to do with me. Some of y'all like him. Shout out to y'all. Um, the reason why you can't pay me to talk shit about Bullet Scotty because despite the antics, despite what he goes through and the things that we see and even the L's that he's taken online, he he he's he's knowledgeable when it comes to certain things, certain hip hop history and things like that. You know what I mean? Unfortunately he gets a lot of hate and he gets distracted a lot. Which causes him to go out there and do a lot of trolling and everything like that. But I said to say this, um, Bullet Scotty, um, I think he is wise beyond his years. I think he's in his late twenties. I'm not quite sure how old he is, but he's a young man that has a lot of hip hop history and, and knowledgeable. When he breaks down stories, he breaks it down to the point where I can understand it and it makes sense. And when I fact check certain things that he say that I may not agree with, a lot of times he be right. I said to say this, um, we all know the story. If you don't know, make sure you watch my channel. Go back to Hassan Campbell versus Bullet Scotty, and it will break down everything as far as what's going on with them. Long story short, um, Bullet Scotty was Hassan Campbell's number one supporter and took a lot of flack for supporting him. Um, and they have recently fell out this past summer. They fell out, had a very... Very, you know, harsh falling out to the point where Hassan came on, came on behind the bar and, you know, gave him a piece of his mind. You know what I mean? And it got really, really ugly over here. I said to say this. Um, a couple months ago, Bullis Gotti did a, a whole rant. He was ranting and was talking like, yeah, like basically breaking down Hassan Campbell, like breaking him down to a T with facts, like real good facts. As of recently, I noticed that, you know, Bullet Scotty seems like he's having a lot of sympathy for what's going on for Hassan Campbell. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't, you know. I even told y'all on my channel, I said, you know, despite Hassan Campbell and his antics, I would never wish hurt, harm, or danger upon the man. I just wish that he, you know, would get some type of help before he ends up crashing completely out and leaving him behind his beautiful family that needs him. So I'm not going to go online like a lot of other people and wish any type of death upon the man at all whatsoever. But uh, I noticed that Bullet Scotty has been very um, vocal about how y'all have been making videos and kind of, in a sense, making fun of the man in his own words. And, Has and, and, and and Bullet Scotty is actually afraid that you guys are going to drive Hassan to the point of suicidal. Um, this is what Bullet Scotty had to say on his platform early today about what y'all are doing and may happen to Hassan if y'all don't, you know what I mean, relax yourselves. What about me and the milkman? He has a good platform. No, this is the wrong one. And Hassan. This is the wrong one. Sorry, hold on, hold on. Here we go. My bad. Wrong one, y'all. My bad. Me and the milkman is tripping right now. I am tripping. That's the wrong one. Hold on. Here we go, right here. Dudes wanted this man, and I, I I don't understand, right? People that say they got a good heart, right? Or say they spiritual, or say they go to church or whatever, right? And they say they're not evil, but they always want to talk about demonic people. What type of person, and y'all niggas is hypocrites, okay? What type of person will basically cheer this man on to jump off the ledge, okay? <laughs> And I'm going to be honest, if Hassan don't calm down, you people are going to regret it and he is going to commit suicide on YouTube. Mark my words. You're going to regret it. And if he commits suicide on YouTube, what are you people going to say? And what are you people going to do? Because, my nigga, if he don't change his ways from this situation and he comes on YouTube and puts a pistol to his head or slit his fucking throat, because that's the next level. He got shot. If he don't change from there, the next thing is when a person tells you he got nothing else to live for, the next solution is they keep wanting to die. This man keep telling you he want to die. Okay? Once somebody tells you they keep want to die and they always telling you that they don't got nothing to 
live for, knowing they may have a family and have kids. But if they come on your on their YouTube channel and tell you after their mother passed away, they don't have nothing else to live for. The next step is committing suicide. And he has. So if he does come on YouTube, and this has been done before. It's a lot of people that's been online that have put guns to their head, slit their own throat online. I'm telling you, if that man does that online, the blood is on all, the blood is already on all y'all people's hands. It's already on y'all hands. No blood is on my hands because. So I hear I see y'all in the live chat. I see um, big killer says God is gaslighting the fuck out of all these people. All right, um, I, I you're not the only person that I've seen say that. Um, as far as he's just saying that, you know. Um, but you have to remember, they really had once upon a time a real relationship as far as like, you know, they, they, they met up with each other. I shouldn't say a relationship. I should poor choice, poor choice, poor choice of words. I meant to say friendship. Um, you know, he invited him to his party. They spoke on the phone several times behind the scenes and they did a lot of content career, um, together. Um, but I remember, you know, this is, I, I just got to bring up the facts. I remember Hassan uh, Bullis Gotti going off on Hassan a couple months back. You know, we got to bring the receipts up so I can see how someone would say he's gaslighting the city situation based upon the energy he had for Bullis for Hassan Campbell literally a month or so ago. Okay. Hassan never went to jail for no bodies. He went to jail for the assault, uh, the assault in the first C-class felony. Okay, Hassan was beating on females. He went to jail for beating on females. Okay, oh he didn't go to jail for killing nobody. He went to jail for beating on females. What Mac mean be saying? God's work. Woo, child. <laughs> Talk out of about how is, is that he is a closet homosexual. He's a homo thug. You know, he's a closet homosexual. He going through what they call a midlife crisis. He battling his demons, which is his sexuality. He battling his sexuality. That's why he drink liquor. That's why, because he, 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 that's what he is, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas think it's funny, but it's not funny. The nigga is really, when he drinks his liquor, he's really telling you who the fuck he is. You know what I'm saying? When he get drunk, he's telling you who the fuck he is. He's trying to keep that image up, but really and truly, he like the nigga in, 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 um, in prison song. You ever see a movie prison song? You know what the nigga told Q-Tip? Say, yo, son, we do this, yo, yo what's, what's the problem? I think we do this in here all the time. I think nigga, nigga, nigga kiss Q-Tip on the lips. That's, that's a song. He the nigga that kissed Q-Tip on the lips. You know what I'm saying? That's the nigga that goes with, he, with his man. That him and five got five got him had a relationship, my nigga. They, they was kissing each other on the lips. Like you know how Q-Tip was kissing son. Like son kissed Q-Tip. That's him, my nigga. That's that nigga. That's that nigga. That's his son. That's his mo, bro. Is that yo? He 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 don't want niggas to know, but it's like you in love with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Hocus is another one. Hocus is another one, bro. Like it's niggas like that. That's why he's so cool with Hocus because Hocus is 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 a, is a booty bandit type of nigga. That's 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 gay. Both of these niggas, they, they the same type of niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they gotta keep up the real nigga. The real nigga shit. They got a lot of you niggas. That they real niggas, but they really, they really closeted homos, bro. They really closeted homos, bro. That's why. And, and, and don't get me wrong, bro. It's whatever you want. That's your life. That's your life. But when you see these niggas and you see how they move, it's it's, it's epic, bro. I never wanted to think that because you know niggas say a lot of crazy suspect shit when they drunk. But then when a nigga constantly saying that and a nigga constantly is telling niggas how he gonna fuck them and all that, like dog, you. You really into that. That's what you really into. You battling with yourself because you know that you like the whole shit with everything. That's, That's what you niggas. What the hell? He said he gonna do what? I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Viewer discretion is advised. Because they took my monetization. When I sat up there and I told Gogi Diamonds, when I catch a light skinned ass, I'm gonna bend you over and grande, 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 grande. Play the niggas, but and that's just all you ever gonna be. So let's get to it. First of all, when you get fuck it. That's all I'm about to be gay now. Doggy, if I catch you, I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to fuck you in your butt. Fuck it, I'm gay now. Doggy, if I catch you, you soft. I'm going to knock you out and fuck you in your butt. We know you soft. If you said to the nations, no, I'm not gay, but fuck it. Let me RBC this nigga. You know what he did? He told you to. He wrote you. Oh, what is wrong with you, baby? You don't think you messed up in the head, bro? I'm not the first person you said that to, bro. When you get mad, you don't want to hit somebody in the lady, bro. That's what you want to do. When you get mad, it's the second time you said that. That I know about. You said that to me. Twice already. So doggy down, that doggy got something coming, that's 
We got something in common. Listen, man. The 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 the, the, the ev- it's evident. I right, am gonna do. I ain't gonna do that too much. Shout out to my guy E Money in the chat. Another one of my uh, day one. Uh, um, one of my uh, biggest supporters on YouTube. 